Good morning. Uh, good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm well. So have you been have you been selling VIX VIX seven five? <laughs> Um, uh, no. You didn't catch it. Yes, I uh, So, which instrument do you want us to analyze? Which okay. instrument do you want us to analyze? Because right now, VIX seven five, I think. We have done the analysis already. Right now, it's just monitoring the trade. We are targeting, at least for it to come to this level here. Once it gets to that level, that's when we consider maybe. But so far, the analysis is still the same. We are on a major downtrend. And we broke out of a major, major support, which turned into a resistance, which was this one on the daily. Then price played around in that zone came to that area. So that trade, we managed to take a trade then on the resistance and also on the break of this range that was happening. So the break of this range, we took a trade here as well, here. Then we waited also for a retest here, of which a retest happened inside here. We took a trade inside there and also outside as well. So these four entries are what the, the ones that we are currently having then the fifth entry right now the fifth entry we managed to place a fibonacci from this area point a to point b fibonacci retraced on the sixth 1.8 this was an entry this point to this point fibonacci retraced on the 50 percent that's an entry so right now we're waiting for the break of the zero percent which is this area that is also another entry, another entry point here, of which it has happened, it has broken already. So that is actually another entry point. What I just want is for it to, this candle to at least touch this zone, even if it doesn't touch, the entry point is still valid because you can have your stop loss just tight yeah. above that zone. So those are the entry points that are currently having on the VIX. Those are the entry points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven entry points. So which instrument do you want us to analyze? Which instrument do you want us to look at uh, from your side? Um, which one? Flash 500. Flash 500. Okay. Flash 500. Okay, let's look at it from the daily. So we always start from the higher, highest time frame. Whenever you're doing your analysis, you always start from the highest time frame. So Flash 500, I had an analysis already, which I was looking at for the past, uh, if not week, or so. So, Crash 500, if you, if you remember, if you watched some of the videos, you'll see that Crash 500 it has been bullish for these past, uh, past days. It has been bullish. It has been on a bullish, 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 um, bullish market structure, bullish market structure, bullish market structure, bullish market structure. So, right now, 
Right now, price is at a major level of resistance. At a major level of resistance, what I expect is for the market to drop. The market to drop. Uh, the market to drop uh, from that resistance. So this is a major resistance, as you can see. That's a resistance. So from that resistance, I'm expecting the price to drop. So before dropping, I'm expecting price to come back and retest the level because it faked out. If you check, it came into the resistance, faked out there. After the fake out, it came back inside. So I want it to come back and touch, respect to that zone, then crash. Can you see it? Yes. Right. So that is what we are looking at on crash 500. So we're expecting. So this resistance, I've been having this resistance for the past one, two, three hours. Uh, for the past days, it has been there. What I was simply waiting for was the market to, uh, because it didn't, it didn't respect it instantly. If you check, after coming into the resistance, this candle broke the resistance. The next candle came back inside. Then the next candle, it was supposed to reject inside, of which it didn't, it went back outside, went back outside, went back outside. Then this candle now of yesterday is the one that broke inside. So the next candle, which is today's daily candle, we want it to come and respect inside. Once it respects inside, then we get a rejection. The rejection that we want, it has to close below inside our resistance, below that resistance. So it has to come, reject, and close below our resistance. Then we take ourselves all the way to this uh, level here, to this previous level here, which is the previous, uh, a previous high, a previous higher high. So basically, you can also use your Fibonacci. That's your Fibonacci there, point A to point B. So we're expecting somewhere, somewhere around the 78.6. Uh, the market to come around those levels, around those levels, then maybe continue with the overall, with the overall, 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 buy, overall buys. So that zone is our target area for the sales that we're anticipating to take. So these sales can actually take a few days, if not yet, it depends with the momentum, but it can take a few days just of holding the sales from that zone. So basically what spike catchers must do is to wait and not sell crash 500 as of today, wait for it to pull and come back to this resistance, reject there, then they take their sales from there. I hope, I hope it's clear. Yes. Yes. So this is what we are looking at. This is the uh, scenario that we are looking at. So one can also uh, use trend lines, whatever. We're all saying the same thing. We're all saying the same thing, whereby you're saying it broke the trend line just to come back and test the trend line. We're all saying the same thing, but in different ways. We're all saying the same thing, but in different different ways. So one could have ended immediately after the breakout here, uh, obviously on a smaller time frame, the 15 minute or your 30 minute or one hour, you could have entered immediately after the breakout, you could have entered your sales, you could have bought some few, few sales because you could have used these, this area here as a target, as your first target for the sales that you would have taken. So selling there, target here. Ah, target has been reached according to that. So now what I'm expecting now is for the market, come back here, come back all the way, come back all the way. So here I'm actually, actually expecting it to close above. Close above this zone, go back here. Can you see that? Yes. Right. Close above there, go back there. So if it fails to close above there and go all the way there, that, that just means that it's going to simply continue selling from this resistance that has been created. <coughs> this one. So what we now look at now, 
on a similar time frame, once you get a bearish candlestick confirmation, once you get confirmations on a small time frame on this resistance, one can actually enter sales there. That is in case it doesn't come and pull back all the way there. Because remember, the Fibonacci, what the Fibonacci does, it helps you to know the momentum that the market has into a particular direction. If the market is moving aggressively into a certain direction, you see it pulling back uh, to the 38 point. Uh, it doesn't fully go to the... Um, it doesn't go to deep, 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 like 50%, 61.8. It doesn't go there. It simply can play around this to 23.6 or 38.2. That is where it plays around. If ever it's really aggressive in a certain particular direction, the market can just pull back to this two. Between these two, it can just, I prefer most probably 38.2. Uh, if ever it's really going aggressive to the, but in a particular direction, you can pull back to 38.2, then boom then go, go all the way. So right now, 61.8 is a golden zone, very beautiful entry. You can, you, your beautiful entries, you can get them there on the 61.8. That is a, that would be a very beautiful entry point. That is if it pulls back to the 61.8. That is a very, very beautiful entry point for yourselves. So I would be so happy if it breaks above this resistance. If it breaks above this resistance, we are safely sure that most probably is going to the 61.8 then from the 61.8 we are going to sell we are going to sell take our sales there obviously with uh confirmations on the smaller time frame on the 15 minute 30 minute with confirmations there then we take our sales all the way um all the way to the to the downside to the level that we marked on the on the daily so 61.8 that would be a very beautiful beautiful entry point like this so yeah, this reward of one is to nine one is to, one is to ten depending on the stop loss that you use on the 30 minute or 15 minute it can give you a very good risk compared to reward one is to nine one is to ten somewhere somewhere there it can actually give you a very beautiful risk compared to reward so what we what we also do if ever you have a trend line like this, we, we always know that above the trend line, you are looking at buys. Above the trend line, you are looking at buying. So, so long it was above my trend line, this trend line, I'm looking at buys because we overall we are bullish. So sales, I only look at sales once we break this major trend line because this is a trend line on a four, four hour time frame. So it's a major trend line. So once I break out of a major trend line like that, that is when my buyers, my focus now shifts to the selling side. So now my focus already it is it's now dev. It is no longer on the buying side. And this was the buying side. So above here, you can actually type and write your buying zone. Above there, you're saying that's my buying zone. <clears throat> buying zone. Uh, then below, below here, that's your what? Your selling zone. So below here, I'm not expecting anyone to be taking buyers. In as, in as much as you want to scalp, don't scalp, don't scalp on the buying side, rather scalp on the selling side because we are in a selling zone. In a selling zone, be focused more on selling. Check here on the buying zone the market was more buying than selling. If ever you tried to attempt sales in this zone, they were never going to last that long. In as much as it was crashing, crashing, but you see that overally, 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 it was buying. So it's better to focus on the buying side when you're above there. Then when you're below here, you focus on the what? On the selling side. Focus on the selling side. So TP1 here, TP2 maybe here. That major, major, major area as well. So that is what I'm currently looking at on the Crash 500. I'm currently looking at this. I will be so happy if it breaks above this resistance. Once it breaks above this resistance, it shows that maybe most probably are going to pull back to the 61.8. So you can also scale down to your one hour just to see what the one hour is telling us as well. That resistance is still there, right? That resistance is still there. As I said, that this resistance, if ever the market does not break above this resistance. So if ever it doesn't break above this resistance here, doesn't break above this resistance. 
if it doesn't break above here, it means simply going to continue selling from there. You understand? Is it clear? Yes. So if ever it sure, sure, it's clear, clear. If it doesn't break above here, it means what you can do, you can take sales either on the break. Here, that's a late entry, obviously. You can wait for the break there, break of that support, break of this support. You can take sales, or you can wait for the rejection there on the 15 minute or 30 minute. Then you get the rejection. Once you get the rejection, you enter. You can enter the office. That one, uh, it will actually be an early entry, even though it's more riskier. So you wait for the rejection. What I mean by rejection, we need kind of the confirmations. We need your bearish engulfing. You need your shooting star. Once you get that on the 15 minute or 30 minute, you sell. The stop loss just tight above there. Then your TP, same TP that we showed you. So that is if it doesn't manage to break above. But if it manages to break above there, obviously fold your hands and wait for the 61.8 level, which is this area. Once you get to the 61.8 level, it's time to strike. It's time to sell which is this level here, golden zone there. That would be time to, to strike. Are we together? Yes. Yes, so I hope, I hope it's very clear. Either here, upon the rejection, if it fails there, we're looking at that next zone. That next zone, if it fails here. So those are like my three zones. I'll be so happy if it, if it goes here, you text first sales there, second sales upon this break, third sales upon this break. So it means you'll be having most probably three entry points there, break, rejection there, break here, and break there. That would be so interesting. So either way, even if it respects here, it means you get this entry point and this entry point. If you miss this one, you can get this one. <coughs> so, meaning even if you miss that entry, you can also get this one and this one. So, those are just the, the opportunities that one can actually take advantage of on crash 500. Those are the entry points that I'm looking at. This zone, this zone, this zone. So, what spike uh, catchers must do, they must look out for these zones. That zone, that zone, and that zone. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, so that is it for Crash 500. Anyone with a question or anything else that you want us to look at? Yeah. Any other instrument that you want us to look at? Any other instrument, Mr. Jack? Ah, bro, Mike, uh, I don't know. I haven't uh, looked, by the way, uh, but um, I think this is good. Thank you. If we were to do anything, maybe uh, week 75. Okay, okay. Week 75, I think I think it's still the same analysis that we've been having. Ah, it's just, see, it's, it's just monitoring the... It's still the, the, same, uh, the same, same... Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's still the same thing. Broke out of a major support. It's now turned into a resistance. Respected their okay. first entry, break of that mm -hmm. range, next entry, retest of the range, mm -hmm. entry yeah. as well, break of the zero percent, mm -hmm. entry as well. Yeah. So it's just wow. a continuation. Uh, it's, it's just a yeah, it's called it's, it's it's compounding, compounding entries here. You could have gotten that entry mm -hmm. here, the resistance, this break, mm -hmm. second entry there. Retest mm -hmm. now, okay. the retest this area here, you could have gotten an entry based on Fibonacci. Then mm -hmm. this support here, broken, mm -hmm. turned into a resistance, retested here, gotten an entry mm -hmm. there. Yes, right? Wow. Then wow. you use your Fibonacci again from this zone, point A to point B. Point You get this like entry, 61.8. 61.8, you get an entry. Point A here to point B okay. here. We are, 
Oh my God, 50. 50%. Damn it. So now we have broken below this support now. We are just expecting, so okay. we're expecting something like this. Yeah. Broken below retest. the support, okay. retest yes. there, then we go. Broke the retest support, the support. Retest, retest into that resistance. Now a resistance now. Resistance, yeah, it, it flips into, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it has flipped, it's now a resistance. So we're expecting a retest the, into that. Then, boom, mm. this is our major target, that area. That same area is our major. The, uh, well, how is the, um, uh, the, the uh, what do you call this, the RR? How is that? Maybe it's one, two, eleven or something. That's for which end? For which end? The, the one that started up there. This one, it's one S to nine. That much. And then we are compounding down. Yeah, you're compounding oh. down, enter there, enter there. So it's it's just, it will be a lot if you ever you calculate it at the end of the day. So now the entry now is here now. That is the entry opportunity. I, I think I can actually give a signal there. I can okay, actually okay. drop a signal there. Okay. The target is still the same area. Mm. The same target compounding. Same target compounding. Same target no. compounding. Yeah, I missed I missed the um that initial entry there. This one initial at the top. entry there. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it's, it's you even if you it. miss, even if you miss the initial, what you simply need to do is to wait and see for the next best entry point. Mm -hmm. Even if you miss the initial, wait for the next mm -hmm. best entry point. Then you enter. Don't just enter out of emotions to say I've missed. So you just enter randomly. No, you wait patiently. Okay, everybody else. Okay. Yeah. Because strategically, yeah. Yeah, strategically. Yeah. So you wait strategically and enter on the mm -hmm. best entry point that you can possibly enter. So right now I'm expecting mm -hmm. a respect and the rejection there. Uh, then we we can actually continue selling. Okay. So it's it's, uh, it's it's still the same thing. Nothing new on VIX. Nothing new. Nothing new wow. to say. Nothing new. We are still okay. we are still following the same thing. Same analysis. Same everything. Um, once we get mm -hmm. so here, the next candle. I'm expecting it to come, reject, close below. Mm -hmm. Then another cell. <laughs> another cell. So if that does not happen now, if this candle closes above here, uh, we now have a problem. It means roughly we we'll just put our stop losses here for the entries that we already have. If it comes and takes okay. us out, it's fine. It will be fine okay. with us there. We we'll just we, we close. Happily exist there. Yeah, yeah, we we happily made money because that's that's a huge mm -hmm. huge 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 drop. Yeah. So, I, I, that was detrimental. The the, the first. Uh, the first entry there, that pullback, yeah. Uh, because it was like a channel there. Yes. Yes, yes. You could have also applied mm -hmm. even your, your trend lines, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. It was going to give you a break. Then you could have entered. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot, okay, things, a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things. This thing is yeah. this thing is so so easy. If ever you you are really consistent and you master, it's so easy, honestly. Yeah, I don't get to that level. So so easy, so so easy. Yes. So so easy. So right now, I just want the rejection there. Fifteen minutes or thirty minutes or one hour. Get the rejection. We enter. Okay. Thank you. So that is brother. it for the VIX. That is it for the VIX. I hope it's clear. Very clear, very clear, my friend. Okay. Okay, okay. So any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions that you might have? Um, so the, the booklets, the booklets, you'll get them, you'll get them very soon. Uh you get them, you get them very soon. The booklet for the VIX 75, uh, and also for for the US 30. Basically, it's VIX 75 and indices. Indices, I mean US 30, your Nasdaq, and also the S and P 500. That's that's an indice as well. So basically, two booklets: the VIX 75 and the indices one. 
and the Smart Confluence Trading 1.0. That one is a book. It's not a booklet. I hope I hope it's clear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So also get ready for the Smart Conference Trading 2.0. 2.0. We are going to go deeper now. Where we so the purpose of going to 2.0 and 3.0 is just to refine your entry points and your exit points. You are getting now more refined entries, more refined exit points. It's just a refining process, basically. So it's going to be interesting. You you you, you actually be shocked in 2.0 and 3.0. You actually be shocked on some of the things that you never thought even existed on the market. You actually see them there. I People can't wait. Are, I can't wait. <laughs> it's, it's, this thing is so so is if ever. <laughs> I don't want to use that yeah. term, but that's the truth. When you yeah. well, when you get to a level of mastery, it's, it will be easy. That's the honest truth. Mm. Simple things like uh, there are so, so so many entry points that people they don't. You check point A, first touch, second touch, break. That's an entry point. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple things. I touch here, and I touch there. One, two, break, that's an entry point. One, two, break, that's an entry point. So <laughs> it's something that is here. Even if I want to touch here, I can touch it. What? <laughs> it's, 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 it's. So it's, it's, it's something that is interesting. Wow interesting so that is those are some of the things that you need to be aware of it's not every uh, time that you need to wait for these major zones to enter sometimes these zones they matter as well these zones they matter they matter as well so that those are areas where you can scale in those are simply areas where you can scale in. And also as well as low, uh, lower highs, lower lows, higher highs, higher lows. For example here, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. So according to this movement, we know that this lower high, if ever this thing is going to continue selling, it doesn't have to exceed what? This 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 high, right? Mm. It doesn't have to go above this. If it goes above that, it's now a change, a change in market structure because it's going to to, to, to they formed a higher a higher high, which is now a shift. Now it's no longer a bearish movement. It's now a bullish movement. So, meaning if you check every lower high, check every lower high. Let me start from this one. This lower high, was it ever passed? No. Right? No. Check this lower high. Was it ever passed? No. Nothing above. Check this lower high. So, meaning, so long we are below this lower high, I'm, 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 I'm safe to sell. So long I'm below my lower high, I'm safe to sell. Even if someone sold, uh late here but so long they are below this lower high <laughs> they are safe below this lower high you are safe same as here i'm expecting respect this so even even if here it comes even if it plays around with us even if it comes back inside so long it doesn't break the end here we are still safe because it can still come back and do what we're expecting so long it doesn't break this. <coughs> we are safe for, so meaning our sales are going to be safe so long it doesn't break apart. So our, sell, our sales are still safe. So crash 500, I think we also explained uh, what is happening and what we are expecting. 
So crash 500. Crash 500 now, I have this resistance. I have this resistance. That resistance, if we fail to close above there, this thing is simply going to continue selling. Um, if it doesn't go all the way to 61.8, I would have loved it to go all the way to 61.8. That's a good entry point there at 61.8 at the top. So this is a lower high, lower high. So if it respects this one, it can actually crash, break this law and form a lower law. Continue like that. So it can actually do that. Come break, retest. That's a continuation of a bullish of a bearish movement. So that can also happen. But if if it comes above there, I would be so glad because it will give us more entry points, more entries, and more entry points and more entries as well. So that is it for crash 500 and the VIX 75. That is what you are looking at. Those are our entry points. Then we'll just be looking at. So I think I can also give a crash 500 a signal as well, if it moves well. And the VIX, VIX one, I, I prefer VIX first before these crashing moves. So I'll start with the VIX, because the VIX is currently, the opportunity is almost here, almost there on the zone. It's now just waiting now for the rejection. It's now just a moment of waiting for, of the rejection. So that is it for the VIX. Expect a signal in few minutes from now, any minute from now, 15 to 30 minutes from now, expect a signal for the VIX. Okay. Yes. So that is it, guys. That is it. We'll talk about much of the things in the group. All right.